Well, good morning and welcome. A little juiced up this morning. He is alive. Amen forevermore. Can, can we give some love to our first time guests that are with us this morning? From the bottom of our hearts, we want to let you know we are so, so blessed. We've been preparing for you. So glad that you've chosen to join us for service this morning. Maybe it's your first time or your first time in a long time, but we celebrate. Maybe you see we're kind of juiced up, a little excited. Because today, we celebrate an event that changed the world forever. Forever. Because not only did Christ go to a cross and die for you and for me, but three days later, come on, he rose to give us life eternal. <laughs> Pastor Randy's going to talk about this a little bit, but Jesus was a real person that walked this earth. You can, you can go to the places that he stood. You can see the place that he was baptized. And his death and resurrection is an event that happened. It's not some fairy tale or folklore. It's easy to get caught in that, but that's not the case. And a lot of people believe that thought that, you know, Jesus was real and he rose from my sin, that, that whole thought process. But just believing that is not going to change you, church. Just having information about Jesus won't change you. But this morning, I, I just want to say, if you just take a deep breath and say, God, I... I open my heart. I, I want you to reveal yourself to me. I, I want to know the truth, ultimate truth. Not only will he reveal himself to you, but he will show you how much he loved you, how much he loves you, that he would rather go to a cross and die for you than have you wonder how much love he has for you. We're gonna sing a song on the screen behind us. You're gonna see some images and some pictures that portray the levels of his love, the heart that he has for us, the true heart of God. It's the greatest story ever told. He did it for you, he did it for me.
not because of anything we could ever do to give back because of who you are because that is your heart you made yourself vulnerable so God in this place in this room we acknowledge the sacrifice that you made for us and we do we open our hearts and say speak to us this morning we want to know your heart God we love you we want to be more like you so speak to us this morning, God, through your word. It is ultimate truth. Truth has come and gone, but your word has stood the test of time. So speak to us through it this morning by the power of your spirit. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. And in one loud voice, we all said...